actual relief. So Germany is not uh, alone in these huge spikes in F excess deaths. Why are we just hearing about this? I'll ask that question again. Well, according to news reports from U.S. doctors, we're also learning that Dr. Fauci told coroners in the United States not to carry out autopsies. This is Dr. Ryan Cole, who admitted that Fauci was telling doctors, sorry, not necessary, don't do autopsies, watch. So what's happened to the autopsy, Ryan? Well, Anthony Fauci told our government to tell people don't do autopsies on COVID patients. In Canada, from, from medical professionals in Canada who have been saying that they've been asked not to. Hmm. So this carries over, this is not just Fauci, uh, or it goes, it's bigger than that. But listen to Dr. Cole beeped out this time with a little squished video here, we apologize. So what's happened to the autopsy? Right. Well, Anthony Fauci told our government to tell people don't do autopsies on COVID patients. You cannot find that for which you do not look. I have a post nine year old on my desk, dead. I don't want to see one more child post ever on my desk. Are the autopsies starting to happen? You bet they are, finally, because people are saying, well, why wouldn't we do them? And in that same town from which this nine-year-old died, a healthy 22-year-old 22 22 wrestler after his third is now also coming to be on my desk so I can determine the cause of death there. We were told, don't do autopsies, don't look. And that's what your government is giving you for data. Don't, don't ask, don't tell, don't look. The higher the number of vaccines previously received, the higher the risk of contracting COVID-19. Further, the study found that the current bivalent vaccines were about 30% effective overall in protecting against infection of COVID when the Omicron BA4, BA5 lineages were the pre predominant circulating strains. Now take a look at their chart. So what you see here, I'm gonna explain these lines, is that uh, people who had no dose are black, the black line. Uh, the people who had one dose, this is the red line here. People who had two is the green. People who had three is blue, and then more than three doses is orange. Well, that's in order, you guys. If you look at, um, and this is a timeline, days since, since the study started, and then the uh, axis on the left is your who got COVID. Well, you can see that it's the orange line that is more likely to actually contract COVID than the people who are, are who have had no vaccinations at all, which is not what researchers expected to find. The researchers concede that this is not at all the only one to indicate that risk of infection may actually go up with more vaccinations. Now we've had doctors warn us, you can just deplete your immune system if you keep going with this vaccine.